Hey guys, Preston here in the 54 and 46 New York Yankees be facing against the 45 and 55 Texas Rangers. We're gonna have David Phelps on the mound against the, uh, the, the the Texas Rangers in Arlington Park today. The Texas Rangers are wearing their alternate uniform, and it's gonna be a very nice matchup. We're gonna have a nice, I think, rookie pitcher on the mound for the Rangers. Gonna be Nick Tepejish with a nice 3.4 ERA, but he does have a 3 and 8 record, which isn't very good. He is the team is really struggling a lot, but. We're looking to take advantage. We are, we are. Um, I did uh, switch up the lineup a bit. Evan Gass is now banging last night because Jesse really hasn't been hitting too well, and I don't know why. He has very good stats, but I moved him last. Thomas Neal is now in the order because Brett Garner is also struggling a bit with his average and on base percentage. He's selling those pretty good, but just inconsistency from Brett Garner. We're gonna have Mel Brooks swinging and miss pitch by Jesse be first out of the inning. You know, here is gonna be Cano. He's gonna hit that pitch in the center field, and, and Dexter Fowler is gonna round second, go to third base, and he will get there in sl or not sliding, just standing up. We're gonna run with first and third, one out, two two count, two mark Trumbo up, and he's gonna hit a nice fly ball into left center field, and it's gonna be caught. Dexter Fowler will be tagging going to home, and he will get there in time with no throw. Yankees get a quick one nothing lead in the first inning now. Two outs, 0 one count to Billy Butler, and he's going to hit that to the first baseman. He's going to throw over, he's going to just step on first himself, and get the final out of the inning. Yankees do get out with the inning of 1-2-0 lead. Now here is David Phelps in the mound. He's pretty good in pitching so far. And he gets the first out with a nice strikeout. Uh, not too, there's been too many inconsistencies with the pitching Yankee so far. Uh, Ivanova hasn't really done too well. Brett Marshall hasn't done well. He's been in the rotation a couple of times. Sabathia really hasn't been doing too good at all. Just a, just a lot of inconsistency with the starting pitching. So he is making himself known as the pitcher who moves up in that order. Because right now it's uh, the pitching rotation now is like thing, uh, Michael Pineda, David Price, uh, Sabathia. Then Brett Aronson and uh, they have Phelps now, because that fifth spot has really been rotating a lot. CC Spathia, I mean, he's he's just there. I mean, he's good, but he can also be really, really, really bad. That's gonna be a nice hit by Jed Lowry, who's gonna go all the way to the wall, and Lowry's gonna round first, and he's gonna get the second with a nice, easy Sam double. Actually, he's gonna round second. Let's see if he actually gets a triple, but he's just barely gonna get tagged out. Usually the throws at third base aren't really like the best throws, and usually it's not really too good. Evan Gass up is right on second base, two outs. It's going to be a high fly ball into center field, and that will be caught. Yankees, had a Yankees have a runner in scoring position, but they just couldn't do it. Two outs, 2 0 count, two of the batters going to hit a nice fly ball into right field, but Ozuna is there to make the easy catch, and the inning is over. So if you are wondering why MLB 14 and show hasn't been posted, but I. I, I have some. I have an explanation. I do want to finish out the Yankee series. This is one of my favorite series, and I think the most popular series on this channel. I can't just end it like that in the middle of the season. So we are going to play out this series until the final World Series playoffs, all kind of stuff. You might see one more regular season for this series itself, and then we'll get right into the playoffs and make a nice ending to this four-year series. Four years of the franchise. That's a lot of years. Not a lot of people actually get the four years of the franchise, but I did. It's very, it's nice. I have a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's uh, not as good as MLB 14 this show, but it's pretty good. So Yankees get a nice, t get a nice two more runs in that. And the inning, they take a nice three, two, nothing lead. Ozuna uh, gonna be up with first and third, two outs, but he's gonna have a fly ball. Shortstop there is to make the easy catch, and Yankees are retired. They had a chance to actually expand that lead, but they just couldn't do any to any do anything about it. You have eight hits though, so uh, offense is really coming alive for them. Now we get Ian Kinsler up three, third inning, no outs, and get hit. Nice long drive into the left field, and Thomas is going to feel that. It's going to be the first hit of the game for the Texas Rangers. Now we go. Next batter, 1 out, 1 out, 0 1 count. That's going to be the Jed Lyra. He's going to throw it down for 1 on the first, and that'll be a nice inning, inning double play for the Yankees. And the, the Texas Rangers' struggles continue. I mean, their pitching is pretty good, just that the inconsistency of offense is just really, isn't really there. It's like Dexter Fowler there is going to be a nice steal. And it looks, he looks like he's actually just going to get the third base, and he will get there actually. So nice stolen base and advance third on the error. So we're on third base, two outs, 32 count to middle of the base. Can take that curveball for a strike three call. Uh, I guess he thought it was going to drop more and get a, get average strike zone, but just not get enough. We go to the fourth inning, one out, 0 one count. And that pitch is going to hit up the middle for a nice base hit. 
see if the Raiders can actually do something because they really uh, they haven't scored a run at all. Adrian Belcher is getting a deep fly ball to left center field, and Dexter Fowler is out there to make the catch. It's going to go all the way to the ball. Fowler is going to have to play off the wall. Throw on two. Lowry's going to throw to third base, and it's going to be a nice double for Belcher. Runs on second and third. And we got two outs. 0 oh, 2 count to the better, and the pitch from Phelps will be swinging a miss on a slider. Phelps works to have a jam. And he's just proving himself as a very good pitcher, actually. He did do very bad, actually, if you can not remember. At one point, he had 14 ERA in the thing 2014 season. Just awful. Oh, going to actually load the bases right there. Bases load, but Yankees can't get anything, can't get anything going right there. Bases load two outs. Just can't really do anything. They could really just pull, pull, a plug, pull a plug for the Rangers right here. They just got a certain amount of hits, but it's a close game so far. Yankees are just keeping themselves in. Now we're going to run third base, two outs, and the pitch will be hit up the middle for a nice base hit. And finally, the Rangers will get on the board with the first run of the game. The game is now still still in the Yankees' favor, 3-1. to one. That's going to be hit by Millbrooks into center field, and that will be caught. Easy inning for the Rangers. The Yankees' bats have been quiet ever since they scored a couple of runs in the first uh, two or three innings. Just not really going, going on. We're on first base, two outs. That's going to be hit in the center field, but Dexter Fowler is there to make the easy catch. And once again, the Rangers will be retired. The other teams are really getting the going. The Rangers do have a couple more hits now. They are finally getting some hits off Phelps, which is expected. And Cano's going to hit the opposite field right there. I think a very nice single into left field. We're in the seventh inning. Two outs now. One, two count. Two Jed Larry. And he's going to do a swing and a mess in the curveball. And Jed Larry isn't really doing too well. I mean, there's some struggles in the Yankees lineup so far. Especially with, actually, Fowler. Dexter Fowler has really picked up the pace. He was banging like around like 240. I think last time he actually played the game. But he's banging like 280. So Dexter Fowler is coming back alive. Cano, he's slowed down a bit. His average has dropped around 300. So we have some struggles. Um, some high hitters right now. That's going to actually be a hit off of Phelps. He's going to actually start the whole play right there. And actually get out of the inning. He's not. He's actually fine though. I mean... We had a pitcher, I think, in my opinion, he just injured himself from just, I don't know, pitching. He, he hurt his finger, it's just really weird. Ozuna is going to take the pitch, the other field is going to go all the way to the wall. Ozuna, he's going to round first, go to second base, and he's going to get there easily, sliding. We're on second base, no outs. Oh, and count to Thomas Neal, he's going to launch for that pitch, and it's going to be down the right field line. Ozuna, he's going to round third base. He's going to go home, here comes Thomas Neal, he's going to go on second base, but he's just going to go right back to first base with a nice RBI single. And this gets the Yankee lead to 4 to one Eighth inning, no outs, one two count. And Devin Gass is going to rip that pitch down into center and right field. Thomas Neal, not the fastest runner, but he's going to get to third base with a nice double from Gaddis. Second and third, two outs, 0 2 count to Robinson. No, it's going to be a swing and a miss in the fastball. And the Yankees are, are retired. Really had the opportunity to blow away this game. 16 hits from the Yankees, just the offense there, just not really the runs. I mean, they're getting the hits, just can't really finish away the, tight, the Rangers. Nice swing and a miss from Phelps. Now we go to the next batter, one out, 2-2 two, two count. And Phelps with the pitch in OB. Yay, strike three, call on the fastball. He's just been down by performance right now. He's just striking out batters left and right, and just overall just killing the Texas Rangers. Now it's eighth inning, still there. It's all same inning, two, two outs now. And the first pitch, he's the... Barrett's going to fly out into center field. Dexter Fowler is there to make the easy catch. And Dolph is throwing a pretty good game. Seven hits, one run. I'll take that any day. He's about maybe almost 10 strikeouts, just killing him. Not that he no outs. One, two count. Mark Trumbull's going to do a swing and a miss in that curveball. One is down. They did take out the strong pitcher. Now Grimm's in the, in the game now. Billy Butler's going to hit a little, little blooper into center field, and that will be caught. Again, now we got Jed Lowry two outs, and the first pitch he sees going to hit that to the second baseman. In considering they made the easy throw over the first base, and that and the Yankees will be retired. We go into the not bottom of the ninth inning. Let's see if the Rangers can actually pull off a comeback off Phelps, which isn't very likely. Adrian Belcher up with a 1 0 count, and Phelps steals the pitch. Will be hit in the center field, past the diving Jed Lowry into center field. And let's see if the Rangers can actually pull off a comeback right here. Very, uh, be interesting. Jerkerson profile up, over and count, and profile is going to hit to Cano. He's going to flip on the second base for one on the first. Not in time. Uh, Profar avoid the double play. We're on first base. One out, two, two counts. And Phelps steals the pitch. We swing and a miss on the fastball. It's not very fast, but it's not very good fastball. It's only 89 miles per hour, but just how he uses it. I mean, he only has three pitches that a curveball and a slider. 
Two outs, no count to the batter. They may flip on the Cano for the final of the game, and the Yankees will win this game of a score of 4 2 1. Very nice performance from Dave Feltz. He pretty much got to play of the game. So, if you got the video, subscribe to the All kinds of important videos from the New Yankees franchise and video comment below. So, it's pretty guys. Me, so my person, I'll see you guys later tomorrow, which will be Thursday, with some MLB 14 the show. Can't see Royals franchise. And then maybe next day we'll include a road to the show. Who knows? So, that's pretty much guys for me. So, see ya.